Okay, in this video, I want to talk through the coordinates on the unit circle and um, and talk about why we care. Um, so I've already gone ahead and put in the radians in green and the degrees in red. And when when we, I'm, I'm gonna expect all of my students to be able to do this by memory. Okay, you need to know the unit circle. You'll need to know the degrees, you'll need to know the radians, and then the x and the y coordinates, which is what I'm about to talk through. Um, when we do that, um, what I'll expect to see is you don't have to write the degree symbol, even though you probably should, because technically, remember how we talked about if it doesn't have a label, it's implied to be radians. Um, but in this case, it's kind of obvious, and it just slows us down, um, because we're going to do a race, and if you can beat me, then you get bonus. Um, so we're going to start, I'm going to give you this exact piece of paper when you come to do the unit circle race. Um, but so the first thing, so... I have a previous video that helps you figure out the, the radians, so go back and look for that if you don't know where all of this came from. Um, the first thing that we want to talk about is it's called the unit circle because its radius is one unit. So the radius on all the way around the circle is one. So when we look at this coordinate, we're going to assume that we're centered at the origin, and so this becomes the point one, zero. Um, over here, we now have the point zero, one, over here, this is the point negative one, zero, and down here, this is zero, um, this is zero, negative one. Every year, I have somebody mess up on one of the axes, so be careful that you remember which is x and y and that kind of thing. I, I, I think they just go fast and forget. Okay, so the next thing we want to look at is when I have, I notice this triangle right here. When I drop that in, you see that triangle? This is a 30, 60, 90 triangle, and we know that the radius is one, which means that the hypotenuse of that triangle is one. So if opposite the 90 is one, opposite the 30 is half of that, so opposite the 30 is one half. Opposite the 60 is one half times root three, or I will just say root three over two. So this 30 degree angle, the pi over 6, has the coordinates. The x value is root 3 over 2. The y value is 1 half. And now what we're going to do is we're going to use this as its reference angle and, and reflect it into the other three quadrants. Okay, so if I come over here, um, 5 pi over 6 has pi over 6 as its reference angle. And this is why we care about reference angles. So notice this, this length for the x is the same um, as this length over here but it's just gone in the negative direction. So this, 5 pi over 6, now has a negative root 3 over 2 for its x value and a positive 1 half for its y. In a quadrant 3, we now have a negative root 3 over 2 and a negative 1 half. In quadrant 4, the root 3 over 2 is positive and now the, the 1 half, the, neg um, the y value, is negative. Um, and so that's the first set of those values. Then I can look at, here's another, I'll drop in this triangle. Maybe I should have found another color. Okay, well, uh, here's another triangle. We're looking at this one right here. Um, and this is a 30, 60, 90 triangle also, but the 60 degree angle is now this entire angle here. So opposite the 90 is one, so opposite the 30, here's the 30 for this little triangle. This is one half. So now it has the x value of 1 half and the y value of root 3 over 2. So this has the coordinate 1 half root 3 over 2. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to reflect, reflect, reflect. Okay, so um, this becomes a negative 1 half root 3 over 2. This becomes a negative 1 half. Oh, you can't see what I'm writing. Um, and a negative root 3 over 2. So negative one half, negative root three over two. I went over a little, down a lot, um, and then now I have a positive one half and a negative root three over two, and that is what I would call the pi over three family. Then the pi over four family is this triangle, which is a forty-five, forty-five, ninety triangle. If that's forty-five, oh, forty-five. I was ready to write the next one. Forty-five, forty-five. They tell us this is one which means that the two, these are both root 2 over 2, root 2 over 2, okay? And we do tend to rationalize our denominators when we're looking at the unit circle. Um, so the coordinates here are root 2 over 2, root 2 over 2. 
Coming over here, we have that this is a 3 pi over 4 has pi over 4 as its reference angle. And so the x value is negative, but the y value is positive. In quadrant 3, they're both negative. In quadrant 4, the x is positive, but the y is negative. Okay, and so this is what I'm looking for when we do the unit circle race. Um, you don't have to draw the triangles or label these things in here. I was just trying to help you see where those values came from. But I want to see every radian, all these that I have in green. I want to see every degree, all those that I have in red. You don't have to draw the little degree symbol, but it, you should. We're not going to. And then I want to see the x and the y coordinate for all 16 places around the unit circle um, with parentheses and a comma in between them. And that's, that's what um, I'll be looking closely to see. Um, now the question is, why do we care? Okay, so if I have... If I have an angle on the unit circle, so I'm trying to, here's, okay, whatever. Okay, um, <laughs> sorry, okay, so that's a piece of my unit circle I kind of trace through, the, through the, the page. If this is my angle theta, would you agree with me? This is my x value, this is my y value, and my hypotenuse is always 1. So I, this can be any angle anywhere on the unit circle. But what happens here is that sine of theta is equal to y over 1, which is just y. Cosine of theta is equal to x over 1, which is just x. And tangent of theta is equal to the opposite over adjacent, y over x. Or we might say y was sine and x is cosine. So we, can, we know here that tangent is equal to sine over cosine. And when we get into trig identities, this is going to be hugely important. Okay, so basically what happens is that every ordered pair, whatever my ordered pair was, the x value is cosine of theta, and the y value is sine of theta. So if I have this, if I have the unit circle memorized, I know sine and cosine and tangent for 16 individual values on the unit circle. So what we will, here's how I would think through this. Um, say they asked me for sine of 7 pi over 4. Okay, I'm not even going to draw the unit circle. I'm just going to kind of think through it. So if I were standing in the front of the class, you'd see me moving my arms and all that kind of stuff. But but that's hard to show in the video. So what I have here, 7 pi over 4, I know to be this angle down here in quadrant um, in quadrant 4. This is in the pi over 4 family, so the numbers I'm looking for are root 2 over 2 and root 2 over 2. Um, and sine is my y value. So this is the one I care about. It's gone in the negative direction. It's a negative root 2 over 2. So sine of 7 pi over 4 is negative root 2 over 2. Okay. Oh, one thing I forgot. Notice with tangent, the slope of this line, the rise over the run. Notice this rise is y, this, the run is x. The slope of this line, y over x, is equal to the tangent of the angle. Okay, so sometimes I, well, often I use that to help me figure out what my, what my tangent value will be. How steep is that line? What's its slope? And that, that helps me know if I've got the right answer for tangent. Um, another one, let's look at another one. Say they give me cosine of 7 pi over 6. Okay, so what I would picture in my head is I know 7 pi over 6 is here, and that cosine is my x value, so I'm looking for this. So I always think to myself, did I go farther over or farther down? Um, and so I went farther over, and it's in the negative direction, so it's a negative root 3 over 2. That's, the, that's where this, um, the x value of that coordinate would be. And that's cosine, and I'm done. Okay, and the more you practice this, the faster you'll get, and you don't need to draw the little picture to know where it is. You can just see it in your head. So that is the goal, and it's hugely important moving forward just to be able to, to know all of these um, these values on the unit circle. So practice, 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 and um, good luck to you.